To have freedom, a way out. To have a voice, to be heard. To belong, to feel secure. Hope and love. Giving hope and love. These words give voice to the silent cry of New Zealand. Beneath the trappings of a first world nation lie broken homes and hurting children with no answer to the pain. Sharon Thorburn runs the Kotuku Choir of Wellington. It's a choir of hope. Children and teenagers from all walks of life join together in hope-filled songs, songs they have taken around the globe. The focus is not on performance, but on healing, restoration and confidence, both for the choir and their audiences. Better known for assaulting police, robbing liquor stores and attacking teachers, Titus is no ordinary choir singer. Everything's gonna be alright. In fact, the former leader of the Stokes Valley Crips says Sharon Thornburn and her choir have saved his life and broken up a gang of around 160 members. After community service forced him into choir camp, he returned to the school he terrorised this week to tell his story and show others there's a way out. The last time Principal Clint Hawke saw Titus was when he expelled him. It's a huge turnaround. We're seeing a very positive young man, a man with a future, a man with a vision, and uh, he's really motivating our young people. Titus says there's a few people to thank for that. His family, a police officer, but most of all Sharon Thornburn, Kotuku's director, who's made it her mission to help kids in need. She's determined to beat youth gangs with a vision to have the choir running all over the country. She says long-term mentoring is the key. You have to have the structure in place to be there for them for the
long journey, otherwise your words are something different from what you're, what you're living.